Hi there, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. If by now you have not downloaded your O3 Schools Jam app, please do well the run to play store, download and activate your app. So for our class today, the topic is response to the state of Judah. For today's class, we will examine Nehemiah's account. So we examine Nehemiah's response to the state of Judah after the fall of Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon besieged Jerusalem and he took the people of Judah into captivity. So we want to examine Nehemiah's response. First off, Nehemiah was the cupbearer. To King, to King Artaxerxes of Persia. So one day, some men from Judah came along, and Nehemiah asked for news concerning Judah, concerning Jerusalem, and about those that were able to escape captivity, those that managed to escape captivity. And the men gave him sad news. They told him that the people that, were, that managed to escape captivity were living in great distress and reproach since the city walls had been broken and the gates was, were burnt with fire. Now, this sad news made Nehemiah weep. Nehemiah wept and mourned, fasting and praying for many days. So he asked God, he prayed to God, asking God to show mercy on those that loved him and still kept his commandments. Although he acknowledged that the children of Israel sinned against God when they didn't obey the commandments, the statutes, the ordinances that God gave to them through Moses. But then he also asked God to remember that God promised to gather them from the farthest part of the earth if they would turn their back on, if they would turn back to him, sorry, if they would turn back to God. And then he asked God for favor in the king's eyes. Remember, Nehemiah was a cup bearer to the king. Now, it happened that when Nehemiah went to give wine to the king, the king noticed his sad countenance. He had never been sad before in the king's presence, and the king knew he was not sick. So the king asked him for the reason for his sad face, and he explained that the deplorable state that Judah was in was responsible for his sad countenance. The king then asked him what he wanted. Nehemiah prayed and asked for first... He asked to go back to Judah to rebuild. Then he asked for letters. So the governors of regions, provinces where he will pass on his way to Judah to rebuild. He asked the king for letters so that the governors would let him pass. Then he also asked for a note to the king's forest keeper. So that he would get wood. He would be able to get wood for the rebuilding he would he was going to carry out so Nehemiah asked the king for this and the king granted it all all of this he asked the king granted the king even gave him captains and horses to go with him when Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem he first of all observed the state the city was in and he did that at night telling no one of his of his, of his intentions and he did that at night, telling no one of his intentions. When he was done with his observations, he then gathered the people of Israel together and told them about his intention to rebuild. He also explained to them how God had been with him through when he asked for favor from the king and God granted it. So he asked them that they should come together, rebuild the city walls and the gates so that there will no more be a reproach. The people agreed and they began building, but then they faced oppositions.
from Sambalat, Tobiah, and Geshem. These are the leaders of the opposition against the children of Israel while they were rebuilding the temple. So they mocked the children of Israel, asking if they would be able to rebuild the city walls and all of that. But the children of Israel paid them no mind. Instead, they prayed to God and continued work on the temple, continued work on the walls, trying to rebuild the city. When their oppressors saw that the city of Jerusalem was being restored, they became angry and decided to attack, create confusion in the midst of the Israelites so they would stop. But God revealed the plans to the Israelites. They kept praying. They kept watch over the city day and night. And while they built, they had armors. They built with armor on. Armor and weapons. They built with their armor and weapons on while they still continued praying to God. Thus, they were able to build God's temple with his guardians. So this is Nehemiah's account of his response to the state of Judah after the fall of Jerusalem. Nehemiah was the cup bearer of the king and he fasted and prayed, mourning and weeping for many days when he, had, when he heard the sad news about the state that Jerusalem was in after the fall of Jerusalem. So he prayed to God, he fasted, God answered him and he was able to lead the Israelites to rebuild. Now we'll take a look at questions that have been asked on this topic. As Nehemiah embarked on reconstruction of Jerusalem, he faced threats and oppositions from A. Lacrit and Malkijah, B. Artaxerxes and Darius, C. Shedrach and Abednego, D. Sambalat and Tobiah, D. Sambalat and Tobiah. These were the leaders of the oppositions against the rebuilding of God's temple or the city of Jerusalem. Nehemiah responded to the opposition of the enemies of Israel by A. Telling the people not to say a word, B. Reporting the issue to the king, to King Artaxerxes, inviting them to dialogue in the king's court, D. Asking God to return their taunt back to them, D. He re responded by praying to God, so he asked God to re return their taunt. Another question says, what was Nehemiah's initial reaction to the news about the ruins of Jerusalem? A, he taxed the people on what to contribute. B, he called volunteers to assist him. C, he fasted and prayed for forgiveness of sins. And D, asked for permission to travel home. His initial reaction was that he fasted and prayed for forgiveness of sins. He acknowledged that the children of Israel did not follow God's rules that he gave to them through Moses. So he fasted and he prayed for God to forgive them. They were ready to turn back to God now and keep his commandments. We also have, O oh Lord, let thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. The prayer above was said by Joel, Nehemiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah. The prayer was said by Nehemiah when he wanted to appear before the king after getting the sad news about the state of Judah. This was part of the prayer Nehemiah prayed. So the prayer above was said by B. Nehemiah. You can get access to more questions when you download the Old Tree Schools Jam app. So don't forget to do that. Also, please like this video, comment if you have questions or suggestions, and also subscribe. You don't want to miss out on new classes.